Hi guys, so we're into uh, week two of the NCIS drought. So I want to get to the finale spoilers, so let's just go really quickly through what we've had this week. A lot of videos. First up, Polly Pratt did an interview with TV Guide, I'll link below. Uh, she's also in a malaria PSA, also link below. Okay, I can't see it in my country, but CBS has put out like a look back video, which is like a recap of this season. So if you want to get caught up or maybe see what they're trying to hint at for us to remember, uh, you can also check out down there for the link. And finally, NCIS is giving away uh, five sets of signed soundtracks. So you get the two soundtracks and the score in like a set and they're all signed by the whole cast. Uh, so if you want to enter, you have to answer a few questions about the soundtracks and the score and the uh, link is down there. Okay, so now first up, Entertainment Weekly has graced us with a spoiler. They say one of our most unique questions will be answered. The question is a question I have not had, nor have I ever seen anybody else have, but I digress. So the question is, what is Gibbs building in his basement? That question, come the finale, will be answered. Uh, call me crazy, I love the scenes that take place in the basement, but as far as what he's building, I don't think I care that much because it is far less troubling than the multiple deaths we are getting. I mean, is it related to the deaths? I mean like, oh yeah, I just gotta file that and then sand it right down and I'm good. People are dying, man. I really fail to see how this is related. I mean, unless he's building a friggin' coffin. Is this like seriously like a major plot point for the finale? Because if it is, he better be growing that mustache back and building a friggin' arc. Okay, now on to the deaths. So, Oziela confirmed that we are getting two deaths and he has added them to his May Sweep scorecard. So, if we take this as gospel and connect the dots, that means that the two deaths we are getting are either going to be regulars or recurring characters, no random guest stars. Mecca Weatherly did mention previously we were getting two deaths, but now we know for sure that they're like non-guest stars. So as far as regulars go, we know who they are, and the only two I can really see going might be like Vance or Ziva. Vance because there's been a lot of Vance drama lately, and uh, directors don't seem to last long. And Ziva because of Cody's contract, where we've yet to hear if that's been renewed yet. So it could be that, you know, there's still negotiations, they might sign her in June. So they might just be, you know, putting it off after the season's done to kind of keep suspense up, or they might leave her kind of like hanging in back and then just not release whether or not she's got a contract or not to keep up the suspense. I can't remember, but I think that might have been the case with like Alia to Truth or Consequences where, oh no, Ziva, who knows what's gonna happen? It might be kind of repetitive though to put Ziva in mortal drama again because we just had that cliffhanger, but who knows? Oh, and it could be Ziva because uh, women don't seem to last long in NCIS, unless you're Abby because Abby's immortal. We've discussed this before. Uh, moving on, as far as recurring characters go, right now we have Palmer and EJ build as recurring. Um, EJ, when she was in Two Faced, build as recurring. I don't think her team was billed as recurring. I think they're just guest stars. Uh, maybe they'll be bummed. Maybe they'll just die anyway, but um, I don't really care if we lose them or not. I didn't really hook in either of them. I mean, I kind of liked the big guy, but not enough to be like, please don't kill them. We also had previous spoilers that both Mike Franks and Trent Court will be returning and NCIS Fanatic, uh, I'm on there by the way, there's a Twitter and everything. NCIS Fanatic is reporting Muse Watson, who plays Mike Franks, will be back for both Swan Song and Pyramid. I could kind of see Trent Court dying. Uh, I like him, not really that attached to him. Still could see him dying though. Mike Franks, every time he comes on the show lately, I am just terrified he's gonna die. So I think my luck's about to run out and it's gonna be him because, I mean, he's been around for a while. I don't know, I have, I have worries for Mike Franks. Also got a really like ominous tweet from Jesse Stern. I'm just gonna read that to you. I'm not quite sure what we've made here. I've never seen an episode like Swan Song before of anything. It's either brilliant or terrible. I like when a TV show takes a risk and then the risk pays off. It's just good to go outside the box sometimes, but having said that, it could also go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, but I like that we're getting a possibly really unique episode, so uh, fingers crossed it'll be epic. Polly Pratt also tweeted that she's filming a crying scene, so uh, something's going down, guys. Something, something bad is going down. Also, CBS put up a behind the scenes look at Swan Song, and it's kind of hosted by uh, Brian Deetson, who plays uh, Jimmy Palmer. And uh, the most kind of interesting thing is the shot of Gibbs in rain 
in a blood-soaked hoodie looking quite distressed as a body is being loaded into the ME van. Ah. Once again, bad things are going to happen. Someone's definitely kicking it in Swan Song, as if the name didn't tell us enough. At least we can say EJ probably doesn't die because I don't think Gibbs would look distressed if it was EJ. Okay, so regulars and then also Palmer, EJ, Trencourt, Mike Franks, and um, maybe it's another recurring character that's gonna pop up randomly and then die. We shall see. So who are we saying is the two that's gonna die? I'm thinking it's gonna be EJ, and then either Mike Franks or Trencourt. I'm thinking Mike Franks or Trencourt. I'd be surprised if either of those two that they're bringing back is gonna make it. So I'm thinking it's gonna be EJ and then one of those two that goes. We'll see. Um, what do you guys think is gonna be for those for those two? Two deaths. And besides those, if you have any guesses, do you think it's gonna be a regular? And uh, oh yes, of course, what do you think Gibbs is building in his basement? It's my alarm clock.